place where Wilfred Owen recovered his sanity and wrote some of the greatest poems ever. I'm standing in Craig Lockhart Hospital and it's now a university but it once was the hospital where Wilfred Owen in 1917 came to be treated for shell shock. He was treated by a doctor called Dr. Brock, who encouraged something called a work cure, which meant that he would um, write poems, he would go around doing work around the hospital, and he would contribute to the magazine here called the Hydra. And he also met another poet here, who Siegfried Sassoon, who was actually been sent here because he'd spoken out against the war. He wasn't suffering from shell shock in the same way. So soon read uh, Wilfred Owen's poetry and encouraged him to write a different form of poetry here. And it's really here that Wilfred Owen, so late on in his career, finds his voice. He finds his voice as a war poet, um, writing, and I'm standing right next to it, uh, Anthem for Doom and Youth is the, one of the first poems he wrote here and another poem called The Deadbeat um, which was very much sort of in the voice of Siegfried Sassoon. Um, being here in this place again makes you realise like a lot of the places you visit that are important to Owen in England how important the place was to encourage the poem. Um, it was very much a kind of place of reflection um, and soldiers who were being treated for shell shock were not treated in the way that many soldiers have been. They weren't treated as freaks or loonies um, to be sort of almost locked up. They were treated as ordinary people who'd suffered deeply traumatic experiences. And essentially, Owen was cured here. He was made a lot better. And that um, meant that he then went on to serve in the army as an officer very, very bravely just before the end of the war in 1918. I'm standing here by the um, little section that's devoted to Wilfred Owen in the museum, the small little museum that's um, about the war poets in this, uh, that was stationed in Craig Lockhart Hospital and we have some interesting things. Wolfred Owen's mother sent and gave the hospital um, an inscribed edition of um, poems. And Craig Lockhart Hospital had originally been a place where people in the Victorian times would get a, what's called a hydropathic cure, um, a cure to do with water and swimming. Um, if they were feeling kind of low uh, or they just wanted to kind of revive their spirits a bit like the kind of um, spas that we have today. 
Um, then in the First World War, it was taken over as a military hospital um, in order to treat the 30,000 people that were suffering from shell shock in the war. Um, when Owen first got here, he found these many soldiers that he'd known at the front who were being treated for shell shock had been moved here because people realised that if you they were treated immediately, usually at the, the front, um, near in France or, or just on the coast of England, but they realised if you just sent them back and they looked like they were cured, um, they quickly relapsed and so Craig Lockhart was used in Scotland as a place where they would have proper rest and recuperation and treatment for their shell shock um, and then go back and this was proven to work. Um, it was a pioneering kind of uh, psychiatric treatment for people suffering from severe trauma um, and the hospital itself during the day apparently was quite a nice place to be, people would wander around quite relaxed spirit but at night it was full of the shriekings and screaming of um, these soldiers that were suffering from shell shock and terrible dreams which Owen writes about in um, particularly in mental cases. <laughs> underestimate the importance of uh, this hospital, Craig Lockhart, in terms of the history of English literature. I think it's important for two reasons. Firstly, it encouraged some amazing poetry, not only from Wilfred Owen, but also Siegfried Sassoon and Robert Graves, um, who went on to write a, a fantastic book called Goodbye to All That. Graves himself encouraged Owen as well as Sassoon um, with his writing the poetry. But secondly, it um, gave a different idea of what literature could be to um, everyone. Um, it showed that literature could be more than something that was about entertainment. It could enable people to recover from very serious trauma. And this is actually something that all of us can benefit from. That if you start writing about your experiences, reflecting about your experiences in a piece of writing, it doesn't matter what quality it is, I mean, you can actually um, cure yourself. Um, there's been a lot of research since then, but this is the place where this idea becomes so important that by writing you can cure whatever severe trauma you have or you can make yourself a better person in a way. <laughs> Thank you.